so I guess there's so many pieces here. I'll try my best to thread this needle. Subpart W numbers are going up, which means that a company is more likely going to be exposed to an other large release event. It, it basically resulting in a fee, right? That they have to pay under the, under the methane fee. Then you have your super emitting response program. And so you will have an incentive to catch these events quickly so you can stay off the EPA website, just like you will have an incentive to find them quickly under the other large release event, because that will be less in the way of fines or fees that you have to pay. And oh, by the way, using some of this technology, we'll be able to give you, uh, you know, the benefit of no longer running prescriptive Eldar surveys out to these well sites. Oh, and by the way, that same information may be able to be used, again, perspective may be able to be used as justification to the regulators to say, hey, some of these emission factors, at least as they apply to my sites or my facilities, not necessarily applicable. Yeah, that's the ideal situation, right? I mean, there's a lot of complications here, but to be able to tie these regulations together and have them harmonize and sort of speak to each other and be able to use data or information from one to apply towards the other is where I think everybody would probably want to go rather than having all these different sets of books and different things you need to sort of keep track of. So the more they can harmonize and do that and thread that needle exactly like you said, I think is pretty key.